What is the Phoenix Phenomenon? The Phoenix Phenomenon is one of three different kinds of cataclysms. First, there's the Phoenix Phenomenon, second is the Nemesis X object and third is the Dark Satellite. The Phoenix Phenomenon is initiated by something that is hidden in the sky. Jason Brushevers The Phoenix Phenomenon is a weapon hidden in the sky that activates every 138 years on May 15. The Phoenix Phenomenon was created to slow humans down because we are fascinating and industrious creatures. I say it on Archaeix all the time, it only takes 200 years to go from horse and buggy to hadron collider. Jason Brushevers The Phoenix Phenomenon does not affect the entire world every 138 years. It acts with discretion and intelligence. When it activates, somewhere in this world will experience its effects. It's like a huge wake-up call for that area of the world. The ancients have known and documented about the Phoenix Phenomenon. It was known as the Keeper of the Calendar. Today's scholars are covering up the Phoenix Phenomenon. Year 1 of the Phoenix Phenomenon caused the people to believe it was the start of a new heaven and new earth. It's been recorded as a creation event, but it is actually a systemic reset event that occurs every 138 years. Some Phoenix events are bigger than others. Phoenix phenomenon events include a deafening horn blast from the sky, the sun goes black, the stars fall from the sky, the entire sky rolls up like a scroll, red dust and red mud falls from the sky, and the moon turns red. The Phoenix phenomenon can cause mud floods, volcanoes, collapse of civilizations, resets, entire cities can sink into the ground, and mass human vanishings. The last Phoenix phenomenon was in 1902. Astronomers recorded that red dust started falling out of the sky just before the Phoenix phenomenon. Ship captains had to call all hands on deck just to sweep red mud that was falling out of the sky off their ships before they capsized. Jason Brushevers From Australia and New Zealand, all the way through Asia and Central Europe, there are documents of red sand and red mud falling out of the sky. Years later, they tried to cover it up by saying the astronomers were lying and it was actually sand flying from the Sahara Desert. Who started this 138 reset protocol? It's not ancient Italians, capital ships, UFOs, or drop ships as modern culture tries to blame. The only thing that makes sense is that I'm living within an artificial construct, and many of the things that I was taught to be history are false. The evidence is laid out in the calendars. It's too mathematically perfect. Jason Brushevers The Phoenix phenomenon has the power to cause all physical objects to sink. Whatever is on the ground can sink. Many ancient Sumerian cities have sunk and their libraries have been found intact. Since the Phoenix phenomenon acts with discretion every 138 years, this indicates that we are being observed. When humans reach a certain level of enlightenment within the collective, not within the individual, the Phoenix phenomenon activates as a reset protocol. It can be devastating. Every time a Phoenix event occurs, humans see it coming. First, the red stars, astronomers call them variable stars, start flashing and get bright, then dim, then bright, then dim. Next, a fiery red dragon form appears in space. Sometimes it devours the sun or moon. Sometimes it darkens the sun and turns the moon red. Every time, it causes red dust and red mud to fall from the sky. The Phoenix phenomenon is harrowing, but it's almost as if a benefactor put it into place. It seems to target areas that are godless and moving in the wrong direction. Jason Brushevers For example, after the last Phoenix phenomenon in 1902, there was only one survivor in the entire city of Saint Pierre on the island of Martinique when Mount Blay erupted. 30,000 people were incinerated alive but one man survived because he was imprisoned in an underground dungeon as he was sentenced to die. Simply said, he hadn't been executed yet. Just weeks before the Phoenix event, a Roman priest led a Protestant book-burning event. 
The Catholics believe that the common people should not have a copy of the Bible, so they burned all of them except the Latin Bible that was read at Mass in the Catholic Cathedral. The Phoenix Phenomenon is a Cataclysm Protocol. It's not an intruder planet. Following are the areas that will be affected by the next Phoenix Phenomenon event, which is May 15, 2040. New York City and much of the East Coast. Asia. Coastal cities. The 2040 Phoenix Phenomenon event marks the return of the vapor canopy. This marks the sixth seal of the apocalypse. But to raw and urge not to fear. The Phoenix Phenomenon targets those who are vibrating at a negative frequency. I have mentioned over and over again that the Phoenix Phenomenon is discriminating. It goes by frequency. Those who are on the right frequency, it just totally ignores. Like you don't even exist. You're not the issue. Jason Brushievers Ignore the world around you in order to pay attention to the world within. I genuinely believe I'm going to be fine and I'm going to survive the Phoenix fallout. It's gonna be a hell of a ride, Jason Brushievers. The Phoenix phenomenon is very rarely worldwide or hemispheric. It's usually continental. This time around, on May 15, 2040, it will be focused in the East. Six and a half years later, the Nemesis sex object will be focused on the Western world. Tune in to the next video to learn all about the second cataclysm, the Nemesis sex object, which will occur on November 1, 2046.